is not every day I have to tuck you in bed and tell you stories. Come on, David, just tell me a story. Just because it's Friday, I'll tell you a story about two towns named Sender and Trender. Story of two towns that hate each other. Uh, David, what's Trender and Sender? Well, good question, Jeremiah. Well, the Trenders and Senders are towns that live right next to the river of San Carmanco. Well, just like I said, it's two towns named Sender and Trender. And like they said, they both hated each other very, very much. Now, Sender is a town on top of Hill Olympus, where everybody is enjoying the cold weather and minding about their business. Well, on the other side of the river, the people of Trender just mind about their business and enjoy the warm temperature that comes between them, between them and the river. Well, another Sanderin called Oscar just mind about his business and want to go camping outside a field near the river. So that's what he did. Just rode his car and went away to the riverside. Oscar ran out of gas and stopped in the woods very far. He is our first customer. Maybe we could get some money from him. Attack! Hey, look, it's all about people. I need to help, too. Hmm. Well, if I help him, I'll be late for my conference. I think another person should pick him up. Hey, I should help him. He, he's from out town, uh, but I, I have a class. I should make it on time. This kid is not from our town. Why bother to help him? If I was in need, he'll say the same thing, so I could should help him. Hey, 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 you are a, a, a trenderin. This is a Sunderland's hospital. W what are you doing here? Found out. We should help other people instead of ourselves. Stop playing the yard again! Sorry. I just got a call for the Winston's family that they need a detective. They choose us because we're good for the job. The Winston's family just called me because they lost a dog, which is one of their family members, so they asked us to find it. Ready? Okay, what are we waiting for? Hello, Donnie. We're here to search for your lost dog. Have any information on what he looks like or what he does to find out where he is? No any information. Just this. Just a fair little scruff. That's all. The last time I saw was in the backyard! Where 
and when in the backyard? Well, it happened at 2 o'clock. I assumed that the gate was open that led to his escape. Come on, let's search for him in the backyard. Hmm. Maybe we should find somewhere else too so we can find the culprit and his um and his clues. So let's check it out, David. What plan do you have, David, to find a dog around this house? Hmm, finding a dog in this house is one of the hardest things to do. Well we gotta do something. Alright, let's set up a perimeter. I go in the front yard, Ronnie and Derek go in the backyard, and the bird will check the middle yard. Assume that the dog just escaped the yard. How am I gonna find out if the perimeter's out of our reach? I think we search around the house. It's best to go home. Sit by a fireplace and eat crumpets. We checked for three hours and now we find nothing, not even a speck! I don't want to say I won't go back to England. Where are he's off to in such a hurry? I don't know, I'll go check. You stay here while I investigate. Why are you leaving the island? This is our investigation. David, I can't go back there. It's too hard. That's what detectives do? Abandon people? Come on, we have a mission to do, and now we're abandoning it. Our mission is to help people, not leave. I'm going back to the investigation area to be a real detective. That is one smart dog. Oh, thanks for throwing, guys. Huh? Guys, guys, look at this. Come, come. Wait, what is it? There, there's footprints. Ah. All right, let's check it out. Scruff is hiding in the bush. Whoa. That is so touching. Thank you guys. How could I ever repay you for the act of goodness? Always welcome to help a fellow citizen in need of trouble.